to class pupils. How was your weekend? Today we are going to be looking at stress and intonation. Stress and intonation. Then the stress and intonation we'll be looking at stress and unstressed words in sentences. Stress and unstressed words in sentences. One thing we should know is this in English language. Not all words are stressed. They are what we call the most important words. They are the ones that are what? Stressed. And what are these most important words? We have words such as that belong to nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and negative auxiliary verbs. What are these negative auxiliary verbs? Verbs like can't, could, couldn't. Wouldn't. All these are all negative auxiliary verbs. The positive ones are can, could, would, may, might, so on and so forth. So, if we look at the board carefully, we we'll discover that we have what a capital O here, the small letter O, and the capital O. The essence of this is to tell us where the stress is. In these sentences, as the sentences has been divided into three. So the first part is where is where is the book? Where is the book? In where is the book? The where is, is what is stressed. V is not stressed, but book is what stressed. So again, the capital O shows you the stress in the uh, words. Why the let small letter O shows you? The ones that are not stressed, and this capital O again shows you the stress ways. Let's go to the second sentence. Paul is short. Paul is short. Paul here is a noun. So, Paul is what? Is stressed. If it's not stressed, then short is what? Stressed. Short is a stress because short is an adjective. Then let's go to the third sentence. COVID-19 can kill. COVID-19 can kill. If you look at this particular sentence, you will discover that this first word here, COVID-19, is a noun, so it is stressed. Can is not stressed. Kill is what? Stressed. Then we have shut the door. Shut the door. Shut here is stressed. D is not stressed. And door is stressed. Go to school. Girl to school. Go is stressed. Tell is not stressed. And school is a stress. So the stress words here are shown with the capital letters O. Alright, let's go further. However, in some situations, and what are these situations? When you are expressing surprise or emergencies, all of the words are considered important. When you are expressing surprise or emergencies, all of the words are considered important. Therefore, a syllable of each word in the sentence is a stress. There are times that the word might have more than one syllable. So the whole syllable might not be stressed. Only one of the syllables will be stressed. But at times, the word has just one syllable. The whole of the syllable is a stress. So let's look at these examples again. If you look at the board carefully, we discover that again I use the capital O and the small letter O. So when we have the capital O, yeah, is one. That's why you talked about one word with one syllable. Shame, shame, shame. Wow! All these words are used to express a eh, surprise, and because they are used to express surprise, they must be stressed. And they have just one syllables each. Then the second one, we have capital letter O and the small letter O. The capital letter O here yeah, tells you that word. We have two. We have a word with two syllables, but the first syllable is stressed. A word with two syllables, but the first syllable is stressed. Even though the word is used to express surprise. Example: awesome. So, you see, my mouth is more open than for the first label than the second one. Then we have shocking. 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 See that word? Shock 
not a stress. It is not a stress. All right, let's go to the third one. We have two L's here, but both of them are in capital letters. That is to tell you that what that we have two syllables, and the two syllables are what stressed. The two syllables are stressed. Example: Look there, look there. You see, both of them are what stressed. Stand up, stand up. Both of them are what also stressed. I hope you are following. All right, let's move to the other one. We have the capital O, the small letter O, and the capital O. Example, let's say that we have words that have three syllables yeah. Go away. Go away. So you describe that word. Go is stressed. Air is not stressed. Way is eh, stressed. Then let's look at the second example. Run along. Run along. Run along. So we find that word. The first syllable, run, is stressed. Air is not stressed. Long is word, stressed. We still have other ones here. Yeah? Then we move to this other one that has capital letter O, two, and one small letter O. Then it means that the word has three syllables. It means that this particular word has what? Three syllables. That is to say, combination of two words with three syllables. All right. For this, the capital O, yeah, means the first syllable is stress. Then we move to the next word. Quiet. The second syllable is stress. But the third is not a stress. Let's pronounce. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. You discover that word that the first syllable is stress, the second is stress, and the third is not a stress. Another example is don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. So the first syllable is stress, the second is stress, and the third is not stress. All these words are all words we use to express what surprise or for emergencies. Then let's move to this. This one has three stressed syllables. There are three words with three stressed syllables. One syllable each. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. The three syllables are stressed. The three words are also what stressed. Then go straight up. Go straight up. We discover that word. These three words are also word straight. That is why we have three O's in capital letters. All right, let's move ahead. We also have the word fantastic. Fantastic. This is just a word with three syllables. But the first one is not stress. The second is stress, and the third is not a stress. So we have fantastic. Fantastic. Attention. Attention. All right. All right. For the last example, we discovered that we have four O's. Yeah. The first one is small letter O. The second, capital letter O. The third, the small letter. And what? The fourth, the small letter. This will let us know that what? This particular word has what? Four syllables. Emergency. Emergency. So you discover that word. The first syllable is not stressed. E. Mer is what? Stressed. Jen is what? Not stressed. C is what? Stressed. Emergency. All right. For the exercise, we'll go to page 197 of our English textbook. So you turn to page 197 of your English textbook. The first exercise, which is exercise one, is for you to mark this expression below to the for an expression from the box with the same stress pattern on page 197 of your English textbook. The first one has been done for you. We discover the first one, we have the capital letter O and the small letter L. So quiet. Quiet. So look for the word that have the same stress pattern and put it there. So the first one, quiet, this word that has the same stress pattern from the box is listen, 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 then do others. Then for the second exercise, you repeat the sentences and note that the stress words are shown with the stress uh, mark. We are 
going to repeat these sentences and we're going to note where the stress is. Where is the stress? It's shown with the stress mark. So this stress mark enables you to know which word is what stress. Because if it appears before any syllable, that syllable is a stress. If the stress mark appears before any syllable, that particular syllable is stressed. For example, cut it. Cut it. You see the mark at the beginning. It shows that word cut is a stress. So if you have confusion knowing the particular syllable that is stressed, you go to your dictionary and you see this particular mark in the way that I've transcribed. So when it appears before any particular syllable, that syllable is a stress. The second one, by some, by some. It's not that well, the first word there, yeah, by, because it's one syllable, the whole of it is what? Stressed. Stop it. Stop it. The first one is stressed. Help me. Help me. The first one is stressed. Drop that. The first syllable is stressed, which is the first word. Keep them. The first one is stressed. Wait, yeah. The first one is stressed. For example, if I have a word like this, buy some, this is an example, and the mark is here, it means that word, well, the first is not straight, but the second word, the second syllable is a stress. That is an example. All right, for the next exercise, you are going to say this sentence is putting the stress in the correct place. Like I did for you here, you are going to say the sentence is putting the stress in the correct place. What are these sentences? Come here. Come here. Ask her. Fair us. Eat some. Watch out. Spell it. Take care and answer me. So you put the stress, use the stress mark, put it in the correct place. All right. I hope you had a nice time. Do have a pleasant day ahead. Bye.